Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're going to be comparing some microphones. We've got the Shure PGA 48. So if you're doing some live talk, singing, karaoke, spoken word as Shure likes to use, versus uh, Pyle's amazing three-piece package called the PDMIC KT 34. Now, this one is a complete kit. So instead of just getting one microphone, uh, with some accessories like pouch and that all in here uh, and a cable you're going to get three times that in here uh, is it really bad is it a great value is it incredible to use they're going to find out here in a second first let's cover what's actually coming in the price point so you're going 40 to 50 dollars here versus 45 to 55 dollars here now three mics what do you get? We move the box out of the way. First, you get this lovely pouch. Uh, this man purse, which carries inside of it a case. So now we have a case. Inside the case is where we're gonna find our microphones and our cables. So they do include the cables in it, all part of the package. So there you go, clip goes up, clip goes down. Full disclosure, when I unpacked this the first time, the clip really doesn't work very well, and I've noticed that one side's actually cracked on it. It is what it is. If you get one broken, you get one broken. If you get one that's mint, which is probably going to be the case, it's rare that people get things that aren't working right. Uh, inside the case, full padding everywhere, all around. Comes with three clips on top of that for the microphones. Underneath the three microphones is where you have your accessories. And in this case, that's gonna be three eight meter long cables. So that's roughly in the 20 foot range for cables. So not your standard uh, 16, 15, 16 foot cables, but you're gonna go all the way to 20 feet. Now that's all fine and dandy. The only drawback is these kits include quarter inch cables. So if you're gonna be hooking up to a mixing board, you're probably gonna to need to get XLR cables for it. Now, if you're hooking it up to a PA speaker that uses combo jacks or a mixer that uses combo jacks, you'll be able to use those quarter inch in those combo jacks. Uh, if you look at a party speaker or a karaoke speaker or any type of equipment like that, then you'll have no problems plugging this in because it'll most likely have mic jacks that are offered to you in both XLR or at least quarter inch. So there we go there. Now for a sound check, I've already got these both dialed up. So the mics are set at 50% and the volume is set at three quarters on the back of the speaker. We're gonna start off with the PGA as a benchmark. So this is the PGA 48. PGA 48 versus the 34 from Pyle. So this is the KT 34 and the PGA 48. 34. Now the 34, we're going to turn that one off. So the 34 basically has a little bit lower end frequency response. It's a little more sensitive on the bottom end. And if we move the microphone around, we find that the cardio that they've told us is going to be uh, no more than off by 90 all around, just moving it about. And we really shouldn't get any response here. And that's it. They're just saying up on top. Best sound straightforward. Look at that. It's as advertised. Very nice. So again, good for live, good for karaoke, good for singing because we're not going to get a lot of feedback because we're not going to get a lot of pickup on the backside. So that's the important part is how much do we hear from the backside? And that's what we're really looking for. Now on the 48, we're going to have about the same, same cardio and that's why. So we've got a good separation between the front and the back of the microphone. So that's where we get the minimum amount of feedback. Now, I know this is a good microphone. Everybody says it's a good microphone. I agree with everybody who says it's a good microphone. It's really hidden on Shure's website. I mean, they really promote their SM58 series. But the PGA 58 and the PGA 48 for live, normally the 48 is recommended for talk, uh, the spoken word. So anything like that, that's where they are here. 58 for singing. Now, 58 is usually $20, $25 more than the 48, so comparable there. But again, this isn't necessarily trying to sell the 48 versus the, the T34 from Pile. Now, it's more or less to tell you that the T34 isn't a bad microphone. 
it's, uh, I think if you needed a lot of microphones and you needed it for a reasonable price, this is really a good way to go. Now, a lot of people do want to take away the little poof, poof, poof that you get off of it, but what used to be a problem that I, I fixed really easily on the 58s here from Pile, which was the foam inside very thin. So, they seem to have actually gotten that a little bit denser. I did take the top off and take a look inside, and it does seem to be about twice as dense as the original one. But you can always get rid of it by having one of these guys, and I recommend this on everything. Buy this in bulk if you can, because then it gets real cheap. So again, regardless of what kind of microphone, I think this is always a better way to have your mic set up, uh, unless you're using it for instrument play, stuff like that. So there we go. So it really takes out that puh, puh, puh off of the actual microphone, and it really just smoothens and rounds out the voice. So my suggestion is it's really up to you. I think, you know what? Not a bad deal. You can't really go wrong. You're going to get that many microphones for that price, and you're going to get an awful lot of cable. Now, the only drawback is if you need XLR cables, well, you'll have to buy some XLR cables. Outside of that, I'm going to give this product a pretty much a pass mark on it. I like the idea of having something to carry things in. It's always nice to get freebies and get a whole nice package of stuff. And the microphones are actually not bad. So unless you actually need studio microphones... Uh, or you've got a budget that lets you get into much more durable, you know, I can beat these up and throw these on the floor uh, kind of microphones. For sure. There's nothing wrong with getting something like this. Uh, Pile offers a huge line of products, and uh, some of them are cheap, and some of them are cheap and really good. And I'm going to put this in the really good pile. So there you go. All right, that's going to wrap us up. So I think we're okay with this one. And uh, we're going to put some links down, all the details that we have from the manual and from the manufacturer's website. We'll put that all in down below. Um, we'll also have links to uh, where you can get it uh, in the U.S. and where you can get it in Canada. Uh, I think Amazon's probably your best bet on those items. So we do have it available on our website, but we're only in Canada. So if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Outside of that, there should be a palm tree on here, and uh, that's for subscribing. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to, please do so by clicking on that guy right now. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for taking the time. Bye now.